Hello everyone, I'm Akanksha Paida here. So we are in the wheat breeding field of Schwartz. So today we will learn about floral biology and masculation in wheat. So uh, the inflorescence of wheat is spike and uh, in that there are several spikelets. So here uh, we have taken one spike and you can see the zigzag pattern of this and that is called as the ratches and these are the spikelets here you can see these are the spikelets and here you can see that is on the on may be straight or it may be uh, curly it helps in photosynthesis and also protect it from the bird attack and helps in seed dispersal okay and uh, this uh, on is uh, the protruding part of the lemma and inside the portion that is smaller than the lemma that is palea so this is palea in between lemma and palea you can see the anthers there are three anthers and one feathery bifid stigma so here you can see this is the glue on the both the side of the spikelet and this is the primary this side both primary florate and this is the secondary florate and in the central there is the central florate which is sterile okay you can see here three uh, anthers are there and this side here you can see so now i will uh, show you how to do emasculation for emasculation we have to select a spike which is which is uh, inside the flag leaf uh, one th um, one third portion so come here see this is a perfect this is uh, mostly half portion inside the floor uh, inside the flag leaf but this is a perfect spike in which we can do emasculation so at first we have to gently remove the flag leaf so that the flag leaf is not, is not damaged because uh, it is very important the flag leaf plays a very important role in the photosynthesis process now we have to cut down the immature spikelets then we have to cut one third portion of each of the spikelets see So we have cut uh, the all the spike uh, all the spikelets into uh, one third portion, and see we have to remove the middle florets three florets total. We have to remove one, but if there are more, then we have to remove two or three florets from the middle, uh, keeping only keeping the side florets. See here between the lemma and the palea there are three anthers and one stigma when the anthers are immature this stays green see here also there are three anthers while doing emasculation we have to try not to damage the lemma and the pelia otherwise the seed setting will not be good so like that only we have to do emasculation on wheat the in the whole spike so we have emasculated the whole spike here see and the last anther we have removed now we'll bag this with a butter paper bag so we have to put the butter paper like this and we have to fold it like this and we have to clip it with a u pin parallel to the spike because if we put like this the translocation of food material will be 
hampered okay so like this and then we have to do tagging in tagging we have to mention what is the female parent uh, we are doing half dial in this uh, uh, field so we have taken this as p3 and uh, uh, this is uh, the male parent we have not pollinated this so that's why we have not written this and this is the date of emasculation and this will be the date of pollination when we will do pollination in the morning then we will mention the date so like this we have to tie the tag and this was the video about uh, the floral biology and emasculation of wheat thanks for watching our video please like share and subscribe our channel for more such videos thank you